Hey guys, Green Guitar Guy here, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the new LEGO road plates and a few solutions to make them work with modular buildings. So LEGO came out with new road plates, which are like this modular plate and tile system, and the idea is pretty awesome. It allows you to customize roads in a way that you couldn't really do before with the road base plates, like you're no longer locked into a base plate size grid. It also saves some space so you'll be able to add more into your city. There's definitely a few things that need to be worked out with it, uh, like there's no curves at the moment so they might add that in the future, who knows. The problem with the new plates is that they are two plates thick, which is thicker than the sidewalk on the base plate of a modular building and the road sitting higher than the sidewalks is kind of an issue, at least for me. Uh, if you plan to use the new uh, road plates, there are a couple options for getting the modular buildings to the same height or higher than the roads. They range in expense and complexity. Let's take a look at a few of them. The first option is the most expensive and time consuming to build, and that is the MILS system. MILS stands for Modular Integrated Landscape System, and you're building everything at least a brick and a plate above a base plate. Now to be clear, you would actually have to convert all of your buildings and roads onto the MILS system for this to work. The new road plates can be added to a MILS plate, and they look nice, not quite as nice as a brick built road in my opinion, but they're alright. Daryl from Bevan's Bricks actually covers this more extensively in a video that he made. Uh, he was able to add these into a mills plate, and it's a lot cheaper than brick building a road. According to him, you'd save about $15 per mills plate. I'll leave a link in the description below to his video. The second option is a little bit cheaper, and basically a mini version of mills. In this option, you don't need to make mills plates for the road, you just set your road plates on the table and then you'd make these mini mills plates for the buildings. Now to do that, you take your modular building off the base plate and add two layers of plates to it. The first layer you'd use like two by plates across and then the second layer you'd add like larger plates like six or eight stud wide plates um, and they would be added on top of the first layer. You'd then rebuild your modular on top of this thicker plate and it would give you the added height that you need to be uh, to be a little bit higher than the road plate. Just like Mills, it also gives you room underneath for wiring um, if you're adding lights to your modulars and it is still cheaper than doing Mills plates to your whole city. Chris from Brickinit did a video over on his channel covering this method. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check that out. It's well worth your time. The third option is cheapest and easiest of all, and that is just adding a loose base plate below your buildings. So that's two base plates for one building. It might seem a little bit weird, but it is a really simple solution. I'm not sure if you're familiar with LEGO units of measurement, but the new roads sit four LEGO units high, while the sidewalk on a base plate of a modular are only three LEGO units high. So adding in this extra base plate uh, gives the modular an extra two LEGO units of height. So that puts us at like one LEGO unit higher than the road now, which would be the same as the mini mills. For those of you that have lighting in your city, you still have room to run wires because they can go in between the studs of the bottom base plate. And you can pick up base plates pretty cheap now. Uh, at the moment, I think they're like six bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for those of you that want to go that route. I saw Jarv Bricks actually put his old road base plates that he was no longer using under his buildings, so he didn't actually have to purchase new ones, which that's a great option. Check out his LEGO City update to see how they look. I'll leave a link in the description. Alright, one last solution. If you're not tied to using the new road plates, you can just brick build a road with base plates and tiles. You still get the flexibility of starting and ending roads where you want. You save space by making it as narrow as you'd like, and you can use like tiles for the center line or maybe narrow strips of tape. As I said before, base plates can be purchased for six bucks on Amazon. You can cut them in half and then cover them with tiles. You can get a pick a brick cup full of tiles from your local Lego store for 15 bucks with enough tiles to cover at least two full 32 by 32 base plates. So looking at cost for coverage, if you shop this option right, you can do it for cheaper than $20 for the new road plates for the same amount of coverage. Well, that's all we got for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, 
Thumbs, subs, and comments are always appreciated. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.